we're going to carry on now. We're going to mention in this examples the break statement, the continue statement, and go to as well. Okay. So you've got break, you've got continue, and you've got go to. And that will conclude our statements lessons. So I've just started the script for us now. Put the include, the main. We started declaring a variable i again, which is going to be the counter. And we set that to zero. And we said while i is less than 10, start the, the loop basically. So we started by incrementing i. So i now is value 1. And we're printing loop index uh, as a decimal, which is a whole number uh, of 1. So it should, it should put number one that should be the first line now we want to do something interesting using the, the break statement and I'm gonna make a comment here uh, if the counter hits ten, um, let's say seven uh, we want it to end so it's gonna end prematurely okay so we're just gonna put star again and that's the that's little comment there for us to read and we put an if statement here we say i is identical or to 7 so as soon as it hits i is equal to 7 exactly we want to use the break and we just put break and uh, semicolon there and we're going to make something else as well here we're going to say print print uh, f um, we say go to the next pass or something. We, you know, we want it to go again, um, and we want it to print that line. It's not going to print anything, is it? Or is it? What do you think? We've asked it to break here, so as soon as it hits seven, it's going to exit. But we're going to demonstrate this by putting an extra line saying, "Look, you know, print print f." and go to the next pass. So every time it, it it's, it's the first time around it's going to print that line it's going to print this and it's going to print that. So we have a second line. As soon as it hits 7 on the last line it should only print this and it won't print that. So we'll, we'll just try that out now and see if that would work. So I've called it break and I've compiled it. I'm just going to run it. Oh, it's a blank. What happened? call it something else. Save as breaker. So we said print f here, loop is the index, we said it in if uh, that, yep, yep, that looks all good. We say compile. Yep. Okay. So there you go. Oh, you didn't put a, a new line, so it's just done it in, on, into one line. And you can see here in the last, it didn't actually um, say go to the next pass because it 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 broke. It just stopped at that point here. Um, just want to mention you can't actually name your file as a DOS command and probably break is used for something else. So that's why it brought this blank space there. Okay, we're going to move on now to continue statement. Clear all that. So here we've just used again the decla we declared i as a counter or a, a variable, integer variable. Uh, we started by saying while i is less than 6, we want it to cycle. Uh, we're incrementing i by 1. If i is identical to 3, very similar to the break statement we use continue and basically what that will do yep it's it's equal to three carry on anyway and it just loops again okay so we're going to test that one out so we save and we call that continue and we build looks like it's done it and we put continue okay 
so as you can see there it's continued until all the way up to 6 okay last but not least we're gonna do the go to statement so we're gonna delete all this so we're gonna use the for loop this time to illustrate the go, go to statement and we're gonna have a print here just quickly say the outer loop percent D new line I okay, we're gonna have another inner loop now inner for loop so it's a nested uh, loop. We're going to use the, a previous example that we did. We had a, the i and j as as declared variables, and j is less than four, and j plus plus. So we're going to increment j, and we open that, and we say if j is identical or equality to three, then we want it to go to end. So we want it to break somewhere and just go right to the end and we're going to make a comment here we're going to say jump to end okay I'm going to show you where the end label is in a minute we're going to print F and we're going to say we're going to have a tab here let's have a tab inner loop index number percent d and we'll start a new line we forgot to put a quotation mark here and put the j so now we're just printing the the inner uh, inner loop index which is the j okay so we're going to close that one off and Last but not least, we're going to close this, the inner one, inner for loop. So we close the, the curly brackets. And now we're closing this curly brackets up there as well. And we are going to put in the label. So I'm just going to say this is the label. Label end. Obviously, that's a comment. The label end is like that. So you just do that, and that's the end basically. The end, and then a colon not a semicolon, a colon and that's pretty it uh, let's save that, save as and we say go to test and let's try to compile and see what happens did it go? looks like fine, yep so let's go to here and say go to test and it says uh, outer loop index number one, inner loop index one, inner loop index two, and as soon as it hit the three, it just stopped. It didn't carry on, so it didn't give uh, the outer loop to loop again, like in the previous example we did before.